America's children are anxious and depressed. That is a clip from Matter of Fact with Soledad O'Brien as she deep dives into impactful and important topics. Soledad is bringing her sharp insight to Dallas for a conversation and you are invited. You know, it has been a tragic time lately. Uh, I'm curious to know how you've been processing everything going on as a journalist and as a storyteller. Yeah, you know, that's a great question. And unfortunately, I know many people who have lost children in mass shootings because I've covered the Newtown school shooting. I covered the Parkland school shooting. I covered the Columbine school shooting. I could list off a bunch of others. And you know, um, I believe it's been since that Texas school shooting, I believe we've had more than 20 mass shootings. So as a reporter, I, I think a lot of what we do is we give context to these stories, right? We tell people and explain to people um, how things happen over time, what happened before there was a, a ban on automatic weapons, what has happened since then, et cetera, et cetera, what, um, what changed when the legislation changed, and then specifically what politicians are responsible for either standing in the way of positive change or who maybe are helping it along. I think that's our role, um, and to provide a platform for the parents, many of whom have a lot to say. Uh, let's talk about your visit to Dallas, an evening with Soledad O'Brien. You're going to be speaking um, to the Young Women's Leadership Conference earlier in that day. So that's a pretty packed schedule for you. Uh, what's some important wisdom that you hope to share with people in both audiences? I think there is nothing more enjoyable than talking to young people because <laughs> some older people are really cynical, <laughs> but young people are full of hope and enthusiasm. And I think especially I have a very um, soft spot in my heart for young women who are trying to navigate and figure it out. And I love uh, that there's a real strategy around helping young women think about leadership. What qualities does it take? What should you be thinking about? What should you be learning? What, what specific strategies and tactics should you be employing, in fact, to help you become a leader further on down the road. I love those kinds of very intentional conversations. And I'm really honored to be asked to be able to talk to, uh, to some of these young women. Soledad, you are engaged in wealth building and financial inclusion, specifically for Dallas's Black and Hispanic communities. I'm wondering, what do you think it's going to take to get some of our Black and Brown communities out of this cycle of poverty? We know that there's a big chunk of time when black people in America were working for free. And so slavery obviously has an impact on what future wealth of your descendants will be. So number one, I think you have to just understand the history. Number two, then what are the solutions? We know education can move people into careers that can pay the better. You have to be educated. You have to have a good education. We know that entrepreneurs, especially if they're entrepreneurs of color, are not funded anywhere near as much as white entrepreneurs. And then of course you need financial education. Uh, if you didn't grow up in a family where your parents knew how to navigate around money issues, you might really be stuck. So I think one of the things that I've really enjoyed about volunteering my time with Advancing Black Pathways is just having those specific conversations. Finally, uh, tell us about the new Rosa Parks documentary that you're executive mm -hmm. producing. This sounds really fascinating. Yeah, very excited about it. You know, did you know that no, no one's done a doc ever on Rosa Parks, a, a full-length doc on Rosa mm -hmm. Parks, which I thought was insane. So we wanted to explore um, the, the narrative of Rosa Parks. She was really a tough lady. And I think there's a reason why people create a narrative that makes her a soft, kind of squishy, like just one day she was tired. Um, because I think it softens uh, the story a little bit. And we wanted to tell the true narrative of Rosa Parks. It's a great doc. We're going to um, premiere at Tribeca in just another week or so. We're really excited about that. And then it's going to stream on, on Peacock. So we're, we're really, really thrilled. Well, we are looking forward to that. We're looking forward to seeing you when you're here in Dallas. Uh, Soledad O'Brien, thank you so much for your time today. Uh, by the way, those of you at home, an evening with Soledad O'Brien, her life stories is June 16th at the Windsphere Opera House in Dallas, presented by the AT&T Performing Arts Center. And for ticket information, you can go to attpac.org and look for Matter of Fact with Soledad O'Brien weekends on WFAA.